in every SMPS for a supply you will find this device and this device is called an optocoupler. It is used in the feedback circuit of the SMPS power supply where it serves the purpose of isolating the low voltage side from the high voltage side. So you can see in this other power supply, this is the optocoupler. It is a four terminal device, you can see the optocoupler is here. In this other supply, it is also here. Inside the optocoupler, there is a diode, that is the light emitting diode, like this one. And there is also a transistor, a transistor with the emitter, collector and the base. But now the base here is opened or closed through light. So this transistor, we call it a phototransistor because when the base senses a light from this LED, it will close the contact between the emitter and collector and current will pass from the emitter to the collector. This is where we use the optocoupler in our power supply. You can see from the output, the feedback is here, the Zener diode is here, and then this is now the optocoupler. This is the diode in the optocoupler, and this is the phototransistor inside the optocoupler. When the voltage passes the Zener diode, the diode will light. When the diode lights, this phototransistor will be closed. Think of the phototransistor as a switch which closes when it senses light. So, the phototransistor will close when this diode lights. When the phototransistor closes, the PWM controller will sense that signal and hence adjust the duty cycle. I will disconnect this optocoupler from the circuit so that I can show you how it is serves. I have disconnected the optocoupler from the circuit. You can see it consists of four terminals. This terminal here as a dot, you can see this dot, that marks the anode of the diode. So this is the input and this is the output. The input here, this is the anode which is marked by this dot, this is the cathode, then this is the collector and this is the emitter. This part of the diode, that is the anode and cathode of the diode, is connected to the low voltage side, that is the secondary side of our power supply, and then the emitter and collector is connected to the high voltage side of our power supply. When the optocoupler is faulty, the voltage at, at the output increases and keeps on changing from maximum to zero. You can find a 5 volts power supply is outputting 15 volts, and this 15 volts is reducing to zero, then goes back to 15, zero, 15. This is because the PWM controller cannot handle the high frequency when the optocoupler is faulty. So this optocoupler is separating, is giving separation between the two sides of the power supply. There should be no connection between the primary side and the secondary side of the power supply due to the huge power difference between the two sides. So you can see the transformer is separating this side and the optocoupler is separating the other side so that the feedback does not feed uh, directly to the primary side from the secondary side. Thank you very much.